Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to assemble the outdoor sensor and set up the indoor console for the IC0400WS weather station. Starting with the outdoor multi-sensor station. The first thing to install in order to avoid damaging the wind cups is the mounting hardware. Put the included spanner somewhere safe until you are set up and ready to mount the station outdoors. The groove on the metal plate should line up with the plastic moulding, then slot into place. Install the two U-bolts into the metal plate. Once the two U-bolts are in place, loosely screw the nuts onto the ends of the bolts. You will tighten these later during final mounting. Next, install the wind cups. You will need a small screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Push the wind cup assembly onto the shaft on the top side of the sensor suite and tighten the set screw. Make sure the cup assembly can rotate freely. There should be no noticeable friction when this is turning. Gently turn the station over. Next is the wind vane. Push the wind vane onto the shaft on the bottom side of the station until it can go no further. Then tighten the set screw until the vane cannot be removed. Make sure the wind vane can rotate freely. The vane's movement has a small amount of friction. This is to ensure steady wind measurements. Next, install the two AA batteries. You will need a slightly larger screwdriver to open the battery cavity. You cannot see under the current lighting or through the camera, but an LED indicator will turn on for four seconds and then flash once every 48 seconds, indicating sensor data transmission. This is the LED light and on the left is the reset button. Next insert the three included AA batteries into the back of the indoor console. The battery lid simply unclips to open. When inserted, all LCD segments will turn on for a few seconds. After this, the station will make initial measurements and start to register the transmitter. Do not touch any keys until outdoor sensor data is received or the learning mode could be terminated. When the outdoor transmitter has been registered, the base station will automatically start updating. Test by giving the wind cups a spin. There's five easy to use buttons. These are set, plus, history, alarm, and min max. Press the set key to enter the quick display. Wind speed starts to flash. Press the plus or min max key to shift the display between wind speed and gust speed. Pressing set again moves to rainfall quantity. Press the plus or min max key to shift between the display of one hour, 24 hours, week or month rainfall readings. Lastly, select between outdoor temperature, wind chill and dew point. Press the plus or min max key to shift the display between each option. Press the set key to accept and return to measurement mode. Press the set key for two seconds while on the home screen to enter setting mode. When in setting mode, the LCD digits will start flashing. The first setting is LCD lettering contrast. Select from zero to eight. Zero is light and eight is dark. Five is the default setting. It's a bit difficult to see the changes on the camera. Press the min max or plus button to adjust and press set to confirm. Next is time zone selection from minus 12 to plus 12. Zero is for GMT plus one, one is for GMT plus two, and so on. Press min max or plus to adjust and set to confirm. 
This screen is a selection between time display in 12 or 24 hour time. Press min max or plus to adjust and press set to confirm. Next is the manual time setting. Select hours first and then minutes. Again, pressing min max or plus to adjust and press set to confirm. Select the date and month format between day month or month day. Press min max or plus to adjust and set to confirm. The next three are calendar settings. Set the year, month, then the date. For all three options, press min max or plus to adjust and set to confirm. On the screen, press the wind speed and gust display between kilometers per hour, meters per second, the Beaufort scale, miles per hour, and knots. Again, press min max or plus to adjust and set to confirm. Set up the wind direction compass. Press min max or plus to adjust. And press set to confirm. Select the rainfall display units between millimeters or inches. And lastly, select your temperature scale between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Pressing set again will return you to measurement mode. Next, we will quickly explain how to set alarms. Press alarm once to enter high alarm mode. This is indicated by HIAL on the top right of the LCD. Press the set key to move between alarm modes, plus or min max to adjust alarm value, and alarm to turn alarms on or off. You can set a high alarm for time, wind speed, gust speed, wind direction, one hour rain high, 24 hour rain high, outdoor humidity, outdoor temperature, wind chill, dew point, indoor humidity and indoor temperature. Remember to turn any of these on, press alarm. Alarm on is indicated by the little alarm bell next to the unit. To enter low alarm settings, press the alarm button twice. L-O-A-L will appear on the top of the LCD. Here, you can repeat the same. Press the set key to move between alarm modes, plus or min max to adjust the alarm value, and alarm to turn alarms on or off. Set low alarms for time, outdoor humidity, outdoor temperature, wind chill, dew point, indoor humidity, and indoor temperature. Alarm setup is now complete. And that's how to assemble the outdoor sensor and set up the indoor console for the IC0400WS weather station. For more information on this weather station, contact an instrument choice scientist on 1300 737 871 or email customer service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.